<laughs> now, not so secret session. Uh, what about that? Look, Terry Campisi sledging you about male pattern baldness. That's the pot Actually, calling the kettle black, isn't it? I don't know why you had pattern there because he weighs more than me. So, <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, George, you'd be filthy over that. Apparently, when they were shooting that, the uh, the cameraman actually told him to put the headgear on because they're getting the glare off the sun. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, he, he is going one. fit. <laughs> I mean, is he? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, the yeah. story was that he was going to get advanced hair, but they told him, "Look, you're far gone." We're going, to yeah, we're going to shave it and, sh and sew a toupee on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth, too. Sorry, Cam. Uh, <laughs> so, look, look, talking about uh, his hair, mm. it's worthwhile showing a couple of examples of just how good his hair, well, used to be at one stage. Here is Terry Campisi going to his high school formal. And well, he's only 25. It's not that oh, long yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, you'd swear that's 2002 or 2003. <laughs> Seriously, it looks like it's 1972. <laughs> it's, then, it's, it's fancy dress. That's Richie Cunningham. What is going on there? <laughs> what about the collar? <laughs> How thick was the collar? Was, there, was it a retro do he was going to? No, that's, he's, he's from Queanbeyan, so he's... There's <laughs> <laughs> a modern haircut. Yeah. Yeah. We got a little close yeah. shot of that. Uh, An up close yeah. shot. Well, speaking of the up yeah. shot, close shot. Let's take a look at the comb over compared to some of the people he has been actually compared to uh, by, uh, <laughs> by Troy Thompson in his column. Pim Verbeek, who gets confused for Terry Campisi all the time. Donald Trump has got the best comb over in the history of the world. And uh, this bloke from Kingpin, Bill Murray playing, what's Bill this bloke's name? Big uh, Ern McCracken, I think. That's Ern McCracken in the bowling movie Kingpin. Yeah, that is a harsh call. Harsh call. Cool. You can't have a comb over at 18. Yeah. Oh, would you be 17, 18 then? That was 18, I think he said. 18? Yeah. Disgraceful. Absolutely well, disgraceful. Can we you put that up again? I think it's just good. used to come over. So. That's too good. Terry Campisi yeah, going to again. the formal. Can we put him up again? Late call from L. Daly. Yeah. Can we throw it up again to Not take a look one, at Terry the, the Campisi? Up close one. Oh, the up close yeah, one. Up with Pim <laughs> Verbeek. Yeah, I just I love looking at this shot, Ken. You've, you've got a massive, massive panic going on in the control room as we speak. Look at that, sir. If we showed him in the current day, he looks. It's it's scary. Separated at birth. Pim Verbeek and Terry awesome. Campisi. Oh. <laughs> At, the <Potty> <laughs> Happy days. At the moment, you would swear that Terry uh, Campisi and Pim Verbeek uh, were the last two people out of Chernobyl. When the place, oh, no. when the place went to meltdown, they looked like they were the last two out. You've given it to him. Oh, given it to him enough. Now, look, Joel Monaghan, he's one to talk as well because yeah, he, you've been able to produce a couple of photos for us. Yeah, he's my uh, housemate. <laughs> Here he is. He should be in the VB campaign, blokes punching above their weight in that photo, right? And what's going on here? Is he a bus army cut? cadet? <laughs> bus cut. Done through. He looks like he's 63 kilograms. <laughs> uh, he's like he's riding, riding in the Melbourne Cup. That is embarrassing. <laughs> Little jockey. And he's, been, and he's been filled up by Castor Semenya, the Adamamuda gold medalist. <laughs> I just want to know why he's wearing his Nana's cap. Cardi, the little white oh, cardigan. That was in like, year 10, 10 or 12. Um, I got it from uh, David Milne's uh, partner. She, uh, she went to school with him. Right. So oh. she um, uh, gave it to me to give, put on my uh, um, article in the paper. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks for that. You've paid back very well, yeah. mate. You've, you've evened the, the ledger there. Thanks for that. I mentioned, of course, uh, you're talking with Tom O'Collum, where you do uh, sledge the likes of Terry Campisi and Joel Monaghan and the rest of the boys down there. Uh, where does the inspiration come from? Do you, do you enjoy sitting down and typing out a few columns? Oh, I've been doing it for three years now, and... Um, honestly, I'll just go in there on a say, say a Thursday or Friday and just come up with crap and just <laughs> <laughs> basically basically just wing it. And then uh, yeah, I think Butsy's been copping a hammer in the last few weeks. So yeah, Glenn Buttress, you got a caning in this week's yeah, call, of did, course. Yeah. So if you haven't seen it, Raiders.com.au talking with Tom, uh, some very funny stuff. Uh, he describes it as crap, but it's anything but very funny crap. <laughs> that. I mean, it's all funny. Right? Can't follow it. It's must reading if you <laughs> love rugby league and. Love watching the Raiders. It is must reading. Talking with Tom. Let's talk a bit of footy. I got a yes, stat. Exactly. Mm. You've got a <laughs> stat. <laughs> Amazing stats. What's Quickly, your, what's what's your stat? What have you got? Oh, I've got nothing. Come got on, how many games? 143 games and only six tries. What's happening? I've got seven tries, it was. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Another blue. Another <laughs> you mistake. Well, I've got another stat for you. I've got another stat for you. 2004 quarter finals. 2005, you run 14th. 2006 quarterfinals, 2007 you run 14th, 2008 quarterfinals, and you're running 13th. What's the problem? Oh, well, next year you make, make the finals. You make the finals. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> Stick around the <laughs> Raiders to win. Well done. <laughs> the Raiders to win the comp next year. Now, uh, while we're Mally. talking props and the like, the finalists have been decided in our search for rugby league's toughest nut at Fox.